Hello? Is it blurriness you're looking for? My webcam can provide the piece of absolute. But what's going on everyone? It's me, your man, Alex the Rambler, and today we are on... Hearts of Iron 4, the Kaiserreich update, particularly the Ottoman Empire update. Now, a little bit of a recap from the initial part. We got a little bit of territory for free from Bulgaria. We've pretty much solved the economic crisis. However, the Cairo Pact has formed and now we're being attacked by all sides from uh, Egypt, Syria, Saudi Arabia and Iran. So it's almost a bit of a disaster save game, you could say. Oh, so this will be the second part where hopefully I'll solve this bit of a uh, disaster we've got going on and hopefully defeat the Cairo Pact. Around the rest of the world, it's all it's all gone a bit kahooey, at least in the Balkans, but that's no surprise. So, of course, if you want to see more Hearts of Iron 4, do comment, like, subscribe. Let's try and get 5,000 likes for more hoy. Uh, oh, yeah, the USA is having a bit of a jolly, and um, Russia switched nation. Uh, well, they, they had a revolution. But hopefully that won't happen to the Ottoman Empire, and I can solve this mess that we're kind of in. So something I'm going to do um, straight away is to halt my advance as I'm lacking some equipment, primarily everything. Uh, and essentially, I'm just going to form a bit of a defensive line for a while. And hopefully they'll exhaust some of their strength onto moi. I was hoping to take Jerusalem, but that hasn't happened. So now I'll wait, and they are attacking me. Am I also out of manpower? Why, yes I am. And I'm on negative political power. Okay, this is actually a worse state than I remember leaving it in. That's not great. After my initial push... I appear to have stretched myself a little bit too thin. But a lot of you seem quite uh, open to having these kind of little mini-series, which, thank you, it uh, reduces the, the uh, I guess, um, stress a little bit on my end. Anyway, so, appreciate it. Okay, I'm tempted to move back a tile, so we're in a place where I have error superiority. Oh, I think I will like this. However, as you can see, unrest will increase everywhere, but I do need the recruitable population. These are the stats that we have going on at the moment. Some of it's alright. Stability is pretty terrible. I'll reform the conscription system. We have to do it. If I can get manpower again and get our army fully equipped, let's fall back. Some of our positions are becoming a bit untenable. Oh, the Reich's Pact is having a bit of a kerfuffle. Okay, conscription system reformed. Oh my god. See, I... <sighs> I get, sometimes the pathfinding annoys me. <laughs> I know it's picking the quickest route because it takes longer to go through the mountains, but it's, it's no, I want them to reinforce that this particular... No, no. Monarchy's restored in Greece. Oh, that's a chonky. That's a chonky. Chonk, 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 chonkerson. Okay, it appears I can fend off most of their attacks, but the longer I'm on the defensive, uh, the stronger that they, they can get, really. Let's get summer bank investments. Two more civilian factories on the way. <laughs> If I could have just taken out Syria, that would have been uh, great. But uh, I don't think I'm in a position to attack Jerusalem. And th that would, I think, would probably knock them out of the war. Oh, they retook Mosul. Oh, I could flood the Euphrates and the Tigris Plains. Why not? I don't know if that'll be good for me. But it won't be good for my enemies, I hope. Ah, okay, the Wiltkrieg has kicked off. And I'm having to defend... Oh my gosh. Many attacks from an aggressive Saudi Arabia and uh, Syria. And we're still getting pushed back down here. I'm honestly tempted at this point to fall back to my <laughs> line back here. Because no matter how many rifles I produce, I'm losing more and more than I can actually hold. My buildings are getting sabotaged. I'm taking attrition. It might be best to hunker down and build up for a while. It would suck to lose all the ground that I managed to take. But at this point, like I, I don't see what solution I have at the moment. Look at just the amount of rifles that I'm losing. Don't suppose anyone would like to lend lease me, would they? Can I buy oil from anyone? I do think I need some oil. Mm, Venezuela. Please give me oil. Oh. Gains two Zerli Ally with four light armor and two motorized battalions. Sure. Um, I wouldn't mind some tanks. Anything really to help the war effort. How is this still going up? How is my how is uh, how is my need for rifles still increasing? I don't think the third international is doing too hot. Oh wow, they've actually got Russia though. Now, this is the problem with Kaiserreich. It becomes so, um, once the wars all start, it becomes so bloated. Uh, if you look at the top right, <laughs> you'll see five speed is not fast, but there's, there's little to nothing I can do at the moment. Until my rifle deficit is no longer a deficit, I'm, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. The only blessing that I have is that 
they're also suffering. They're, they're, well, they're getting close to being able to push me, but my forces are still clinging on, you know? Oh, and they've got a, oh, they've got a war of independence. Oh my god. They do have a disorganized army, though, and unrest. Manpower reserve is pretty low. Show me my lovely new unit. Are you having a freaking giraffe? Why would they spawn one of them down in freaking Baghdad? Why on earth would you do that? That's such a way. Ha! Huh? You screwed me. Took Baghdad though. Um, can you somehow get to a port? Your task, if you choose to accept it, is to get to Basra. Man, look how slow they're moving. Oh yeah, the unit went. What a surprise. The one thing that uh, is really beneficial for me is that I have complete area superiority. And I am prioritizing my tech trees. Oh god. I just need my army fully equipped, please. It's the only thing that's stopping me from going full on Blitzkrieg at the moment. No matter how much more I produce, the need for rifles still increases. Oh please root out resistance. Nineteen thousand rifles, oh come on. Oh gosh, it's, it hurts, it really hurts. They must be taking a lot more losses than myself though. Yeah, they're skyrocketing. They've got manpower, though. So does Saudi Arabia. So does Egypt. So does Syria. They all have manpower. And eventually, if I can't get my units equipped, I'm eventually just going to have to fall back to Anatolia. Oh, this is painful. Am I really on volunteer only? Oh, come on. Give me the pee, -pee. And I'm only on partial mob too. Okay, I'm not doing any national focuses for a while. I just need pee, -pee. Political power. <laughs> Let's not talk about penis. Spanish Civil War is over. Who won? The Iberian Federation. Oh. Y'all got any more of them rifles? Wow, they're attacking across the whole front again. 20,000. How many military factories do I need to build? I can't even request lend leases from anyone, can I? Please. I'll declare war on, on France if you want. Just <laughs> let me in. Do I fall back to Anatolia? I'd be in a stronger position. I'd be giving up some factories, but honestly, they're all just broken anyway. I don't think I would be losing that many factories if I fell back. I think this is what it's going to come to. Oh, wow. It's just the Pacific States versus the combined syndicates. Wellady, 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 woo. But hold, troops. More economy. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't have any military chief of staff either. Oh, my giddly goo. Down to 15,000 rifles needed now. That's the lowest it's been for like a year. Oh, I'm being pushed back. Stop. In the name of me, oh my god, it hurts to see me falling back. It hurts to be losing this war, because I know I shouldn't be. I know I'm better, I'm stronger. Please construct more factories. Please, I really need them. Okay, now I'm not being attacked. Well, I'm still being attacked a lot, but not as constantly as before. I'm actually able to get equipment out to my troops. Because wellady 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 woo, like it's it's pretty grim. Look at that. There's reinforcement requests. Oof. Really would love to increase my stability. Root out resistance, my friend. Bam. When I can actually get some decent strength, I'm going to just naval invade and hopefully just blitz through here. Oh my god, my units. Oh, it looks like they're getting uh, actual equipment now. I'm going to test my newly equipped... Uh, that's weird. I don't know why they'd leave tiles open. But yes, I'm going to uh, see if we can somehow take back Aleppo, our first potential reconquista. Apparently, yes, they their troops melted. This would be a bit dodgy because we're going across the river, but we'll try. Oh my god, their units are melting. Oh, well, this is good news for my naval invasion with my big boys. They're not very big, but they are boys. Men, it looks like Russia's about to fall. Like the German Empire's... Oh my god, they're just destroying everything. Wow. Okay, let's try and take Van. Hmm. Yeah, Iran looks like they're going to be a tougher nut to crack. Okay, well, let's see if this works. My big boys weren't really ready, but I'm, I'm committing the big uns. This might be enough to knock Syria out if we can take it. Maybe? Ugh. What else needs to be taken? They don't have any victory points. Or is it just territory now? I think it must just be land. Alright. I'll take a few more tiles, I hope. Oh, it's just actually Egypt I have to capitulate. Good to know. I should have looked at that before. I should have just done a naval invasion into the key cities. London's fallen? Oh, wow. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> naval invading London. Wow. Hmm. You love to see it. So Syria we only, will only capitulate when it has 2% of its victory. Ah, I've lost a division. Oh, I saved it. 
This video is just a lot of micro, really. Oh, the rights pad on Entente will cooperate. So laggy. So laggy. I can't even really move the map. Oh my god. Is that the combined syndicates of the Pacific are still... Yeah. This is bad. Like, I don't know if it can even run anymore. It controls 1% of victory points and will capitulate when it has 0% or less. <sighs> Come on. Uh, please let Syria capitulate. Oh my god. Yay. The good news is, Egypt's army is out of tosh, so I might just be able to capitulate them pretty quick. Oh my god, my units actually overrun theirs. <laughs> They're trapped down there. Oh, this is nice. Finally, retribution. How dare they rebel against me. I will destroy all. Cairo's taken. Off to Alexandria, hopefully. Divert the bombers, provide cast support. Utterly wreck those bitches. You go across the river, down by the riverside. I hope we can take out Egypt um, pretty soon. Then that'll mean I can put my full force against Iran, because Saudi Arabia and Siren Seer should capitulate. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, Siren Seer is still in the... The fate of Egypt. Uh, <laughs> Ottoman victory in the Levant. I will, I will do the complete annexation and then root out resistance in Egypt, hopefully. I should probably get more spies if I can. Heh, <laughs> just kidding, I don't have the factories. Why is that? Oh wow, yeah, my civilian factory count's gone way down. Why? Economic turmoil. Oh, you son of a... I just can't have anything, can I? I can't have anything. Settle the Sudanese affair. Uh, Sudan will become our puppet, but it's fine. Let's go after Saudi Arabia. Oh, I had an island here the whole time. I could have done this a lot quicker, I think. Well, could I? Oh my god, no. Negative 25% stability because of the Egyptian integration effort. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realise that. <laughs> I think he's doing an alright job at suppressing, though. The fate of Arabia. Do, uh, oh, I'm going to have to liberate a loyal Arabia. Yeah, not ideal, but I just can't take any more debuffs. And now, hopefully, we can blitz into Iran and then maybe finish Yemen. Uh, <laughs> although Yemen, what the feck? They are actually pushing. It. How is Yemen doing? It? Yemen? Yemen? Iran is now certainly on the back foot. I love it when front lines change when I don't tell them to. That's great. <laughs> Thanks, game. Negative forty-three percent. I do all of this, and my people hate me. What the f***? Oh, I've got quite a nice encirclement coming up, though. Feel my wrath! Feel it! Touch it! Goodbye, Iranian armed forces. I think if I just take Zadhan... The fate of Persia. They will become my puppet. But I gained some territory, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Giggity. Oh, I'll reinforce ties to Berlin. I forgot I could do that. Oh, for God's sake, the Suez has been freaking... Created the Suez International Zone. But I own it. But it's going to take 630 days to repair it. Oh my god. Uh, luckily, we might be able to encircle a few of their units, which would help out. Oh, actually, I know I'm able to, I might be able to encircle all of their army. I'm trying to get some out. Love? Did we encircle any? No, they were freaking escaped. <laughs> We've got Azerbaijan. And I joined the Reich's path. Did I do that? I guess so. Who am I at war with? The Union of Britain and Mexico. Oh, okay. That's not... It's not really too much to worry about. Oh, oh, okay. Now I can do the Conference of Alexandria. The current policy of imposed Turkish rule based on democratic advantage no longer holds true now that the scales have been tipped. Oh. Well. It's BS, isn't it? But after all of that, I've, I've managed to fix it. I don't know what else there would be to do now that I'm also in the Reich's Pact, which is like the most powerful nation or faction in the, in the game. There isn't really any options to go to war with anyone now. So you're just kind of working on solving, like sorting stuff out. So this might just be a two part series because I'm actually pretty happy with, with, with how we've ended up doing. So for today, that's where I'm leaving it. If you did enjoy this second part, uh, of seeing the Ottoman Empire rise again, please do comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back very soon. Ta -da -da -da. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Sturbic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachary Mosby, Tad House, Cobby was taken, Matt Zoov, Vash, Warren P. George, Dave D. Y. the Don, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Ryan Cock, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous for supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!